Series fans, welcome to CSBK TV. Our final broadcast, actually second final broadcast from our, our test day here at Shannonville. And uh, the season uh, just about ready to kick off. It's been a great day here. We've had a couple of upsets as you've probably seen on uh, CSBK TV, but nonetheless, most of the riders are coming home in one piece and, uh, and reporting well. It's my pleasure at this point in time to catch up with the guy that finished second in this nation in 2011. Slipped to third place in the Superbike class, Pro Superbike class here in Canada in 2012. And set us up for what we hope will be his first Mopar Canadian Superbike Championship. Andrew Nelson, National Number 26. Drew, you've put on a lot of laps out there. You've been through some Pirelli rubber here. How's it feeling? Uh, it's we got an awesome day and we were lucky enough that Mopar has been able to put this day together for us. And, um, I've never had a chance to try so many things. I got on a uh, new adjustable triple clamp, so I went through a whole onslaught of that stuff. Tried different tire pressures, different tire compounds, geometry. I tried so much stuff, electronics up. Uh, my head's in a million different places, but uh, probably by the end of the day we'll be close to about probably 95 laps completed today, which is awesome. I feel good out there still. I'm red, I'm red as hell in the face, but uh, I feel pretty good out there and the bike's just getting easier and easier to ride as we figure more things out. You think yourself in uh, pretty good shape physically coming into the season? Well, I'm a little heavy. Um, you know, I like to be lighter, of course, uh, but in shape-wise and endurance, I have no problems with anything out there. Uh, but I think by the national, I'll, I've lost a couple more pounds and uh, well, probably by the end of the year, I see a much thinner me on the camera. I'm going to touch on something, and I don't mean to be rude on this. You and I are, are, are good buddies, so I know you'll take this in stride. If you look back on CSBK uh, TV from last year, and indeed the Radix coverage that we enjoyed on uh, Motorcycle Mania, uh, presented by Parks Canada, one of the things that we know that at each and every start of a Superbike race in Canada is that you are not sharp off the line. What are you doing to improve that? Uh, my launch is crap. Um, oh, last year, <laughs> I do want to say it. No, they, they suck. You, know, you start on the front row and you get passed by guys on both three. It's pretty embarrassing. And at this level, you know, you beat yourself up in the first few laps trying to catch up to guys. And then instead of being able to just battle with your way from the get-go. So I, I've practiced a lot of starts so far this year at a lot of different regional events that we have here at Shannonville with the race series. And uh, I did a lot just in my own practicing and up and down my driveway a little bit. Uh, I changed the clutch a little bit just to, see, just to see if it would give it a, a little better feel and it seems to work pretty good and um, the launches I've had this year in the races that I've been in, you know, I'd be their first or second That's you on that. one, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Good stuff. So you're ready to give them, you know what, this year? Yeah, I think, I think we're looking pretty good. I got a couple of guys on board. Hey, you want to put the tire warmers on dad. this thing? And yeah, my dad's still here and uh, working with him is good. Marshall will be helping out a little bit and also uh, Evan Steele from ESP out of Arizona should be coming up to, uh, to throw his mix into it and that'll hopefully give me too much information that I can take in and all I really have to do is just turn the throttle at that point and not think much, uh, much about the bike. But, uh, I'm happy with the new bike and the new 2012 is definitely a different feel than the 2011 so it's taking me a little bit of time to get used to that. But uh, I think come the first national, we should be able to run pretty consistently fast times. I, I don't know, you know, lap record pace, but uh, I think for the race we should look good. Well, this year everyone is anticipating now with Brett McCormick gone to World Superbike. Uh, the, the anticipation is that it's going to be you and Zoke duking it out again as you did in 2012. Or well, 2010, I should say. Yeah, you know, Jordan's always fast. It doesn't matter what bike he's on, and he's on the BMW, which again is an easy bike for him to go fast on. Well, here we are. We have a chance to interview you for CSBK TV, but this is going to be going on all year long with you, and then you have two sponsors that have put cameras in your face all year. Yeah, I got a new sponsor on board this year. It's uh, MCN.TV. Um, it's all online television. Uh, they do boxing and poker and harness racing and all kinds of stuff and now they've dabbled into the motorcycle road racing scene a little bit with me and they'll be following me at all the events and you'll be able to check out our in the pit stuff on board stuff we'll be putting something in together basically every weekend or hopefully every day we'll have something available and then do a documentary with it as well so uh, keep your eyes on mcn.tv and mcnsports.tv for uh, some behind the scenes footage of uh, what true privateer racing is like but at the top level of channel. Andrew, I know you got another test session come up here this afternoon, so I do want to take the time to thank you for taking the time to talk to us. And, uh, and uh, we 
wishing you all the best in the 2012 season. Get on the line. Yeah, I'll try. Thanks very much. Andrew Nelson, right in the number 26.